Wagner men are propping up a, a weak government and and could leave Putin with uh, quite significant influence. Russian mercenaries could be fueling the sudden conflict in Sudan. Violent clashes broke out in the capital Khartoum on Saturday between the Sudanese army and paramilitary group Rapid Support Force. So far, calls for ceasefire have gone unanswered. Well, Richard Ashton is a correspondent for the Times and the Sunday Times in West Africa and can update us. Hi, Richard. Hi, Matt. How's things? I'm very good. Explain, explain the background of this conflict of people who, who suddenly see Sudan in the news and don't really know what's going on. Yeah, it's true. Um, this has deep roots. I think it's important not to overemphasize the role or the possible role of Wagner mm. because of these deep roots. You know, Omar al-Bashir was a long um, dictator in Sudan. He was overthrown in a revolution. A uh, transitional council came in, which itself was deposed, overthrown in 2021 by two uh, allied generals um, who installed a military junta and then proceeded to fall out with each other. They've been feuding ever since. In the recent months, there have been talks to try and uh, continue this sort of move towards democracy or the return or, or, or the, the arrival of some kind of civil rule. But these have broken down quite dramatically uh, in the last few days um, with troops loyal to each of these generals fighting in the streets of Khartoum uh, and other parts of, of Sudan, including Darfur, which is well used to conflict. Um, and... Uh, it is possible, um, uh, we think it quite likely, that Wagner has, is playing some role in the conflict. This is obviously Putin's mercenary army. Um, it's been in Sudan since 2017 when al-Bashir invited it, um, suggesting that, that, that Sudan could be Putin's key to, to Africa. Uh, and it is accused of hauling vast amounts of gold out of Sudan. Sudan is very gold-rich. Um, and it is now allied with Hameti, who is one of the two warring generals. And the suspicion is that there's some kind of deal between Wagner and Hameti. Uh, the concern that if it's Hameti who emerges um, victorious in this war, or at least takes you know, large parts of, of Sudan, that could be yet another African country where uh, Wagner men are putting up a, a weak government and and could leave Putin with uh, quite significant influence all the way from the Red Sea in northeast Africa through Central Africa across to the Western Sahel, where he uh, is backing up uh, Mali um, at the moment. And so you're, what you're sort of saying is that this conflict, it's got deep roots. It would have probably happened without Wagner, but Wagner being involved in making a, a bad situation worse is probably the last thing the, the, the country needs. I think that's probably the way to look at it. Yeah, um, I was speaking to an analyst yesterday who was a former US uh, expert in Sudan who thinks it's probably not as if uh, Wagner has sort of triggered this conflict, but, but, but since it has begun, since it began on, on Saturday, um, Wagner is probably aiding, is the word he used, aiding Hermetti's forces. Um, and because of those mining interests in, in Sudan, if the conflict escalates, um, and those mining interests are, are, are threatened by fighting, it could be that, that Wagner takes more of an active role in the fighting.